that poem, it's on the civil Arab, so go read it. Uh, shameless plug for my best friend. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, the next person who signed up in the sign-up sheet we're so um, incredibly lucky to have, it's Zane. Uh, Zane, come up, please. Hey everyone, um, I'm Zane Jukadar. My pronouns are he and him, um, I'm actually the writer in residence right now at the museum, so um, thank you, thank you for having me. Um, I'm actually doing a series of workshops here for emerging writers of color, so that's been really awesome. Um, that was actually uh, Yasmin and I connected about tonight in our workshop, so really excited to be here. Um, so I will just read one poem um, in keeping with uh, keeping this moving along. And it's called Time Lapse with Uprooted Trees and Disembodied Animals. At birth, I was declared the field of wheat to which a man might one day take a scythe. There was no swollen pea between my thighs. This was my first sin. The boys believed summer was made for them. Days were for peeling twigs from birches and burying the wet shoots. White boys were wildfires and they came for us first. Back then, every brown girl knew what boys took from our bodies behind swamp maples. We had yet to open to the unwanted blossom of our blood. Scientists say the vagina has its own heartbeat, a thumping pulse. I learned it was a sin to kiss girls because then who would have need of men? I bellied the stones of guilt long before I realized a boy with two hearts was something you could be. Sometimes they still kick. I lost count of the men who said motherhood was how was atonement for the apple of her womb. Undeserved and precious creature, listen. We all thirst at the place where we were wounded, root or mother. Today I forgot the day you died, and this betrayal was worse than all my other failings. In central Morocco, a river seems open a valley, like a finger dragged through honey, and I do not know where you are buried. It will never end, this raising, this harvest, and no one knows what grief throbs in the flesh of birches mourning bloodied daughters. I have seen the knife that uproots failed mothers. One day I will crouch in a field, and a copse of them will thirst, lift their limbs, and pick their way toward the ocean. The sun will redden. They will bathe themselves new, unburdened, and even the sea will contract into a heart pulsing. <laughs> 